In this video, we will discuss 3 beta hydroxylase and 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency that causes adrenogenital syndrome. Before I start, I have few important examination questions and we'll get the answer for those questions when we go through the topic and after the topic is done. So the first question is what's the difference between the 11 beta and 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency? Number two, what are the amniotic fluid findings in adrenogenital syndrome. Number three, which adrenal enzyme deficiencies causes low blood pressure and which causes high blood pressure. Number four, which glucocorticoids increase in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency and why. Number five, which enzyme deficiencies causes feminization in male children. Number six, how much more mineralocorticoid activity do mineralocorticoids have compared to cortisol? Number 7. What's the difference between 11 beta and 21 hydroxylase deficiency? Number 8. What's the origin of circulating estrogens? Number 9. Which adrenal steroid is not in free form? Number 10. Which enzyme deficiency causes virilization? Number 11. Which adrenal enzyme deficiency does not cause virilization? And number 12. What's the effect of metarapone on adrenal gland? Now, adrenogenic syndrome due to 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency and 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. The physical findings in these two deficiencies are similar to that seen in 21 hydroxylase deficiency. That is in a female child they have ambiguous genitalia with enlarged clitoris, fused labia, hypoespedia, female pseudohermaphroditism and hypogonadism, oligomenorrhea, hirsutism, masculinization and advanced bone age advanced bone age in both male and female children. Why there is increased androgen productions in 11 beta and 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency. So when this 3 beta hydroxylase and 11 beta hydroxylase are deficient, so there is a backup of the substrate and that causes increase in DHA and androgens. And there is a deficiency of the aldosterone and glucocorticoid cortisol. This is the 3 beta hydroxylase and here is the 11 beta hydroxylase. If these two enzymes are deficient, they block the formation of the mineralocorticoid, aldosterone and cortisol glucocorticoid. And why there is hypertrophy of adrenal gland? Lack of negative cortisol inhibition causes increased ACTH that causes adrenal hyperplasia and hypertrophy with increased skin pigmentation. So the lab findings in 11 beta and 3 beta hydroxylase def deficiency, there is both increase in androgens 17 ketosteroid plasma DHEA and 17 hydroxyprogesterone like they occur in 21 hydroxylase deficiency. Now the findings in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. There is increase in hydroxycorticosteroids 11 deoxycortisol and increase in mineralocorticoids 11 deoxycorticosterone. So when 11 beta hydroxylase is deficient it acts on both the synthetic pathway of aldosterone and cortisol. In the cortisol synthetic pathway there is excess of 11 deoxycortisol production because this enzyme is deficient the substrate 11 deoxycortisol increased and in aldosterone synthetic pathway when 11 beta hydroxylase is deficient then there is increase in deoxycorticosterone deoxycorticosterone is a potent mineralocorticoid that causes hypertension with hypokalemia because aldosterone is not formed which causes removal of the potassium and saves sodium so sodium is lost in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency so 11 deoxycorticosterone Corticosterone causes salt and water retention, hypertension, hypokalemic alkalosis. What's the difference between 11 beta and 21 hydroxylase deficiency? Both types have increased androgens and increased hydroxyprogesterone. So in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency, I just mentioned there is increase in 11 deoxycorticosterone which is a mineralocorticoid causes hypertension and hypokalemia and number two there is increased blood and urine 11 deoxycortisol because there is increase in 11 deoxycortisol because the pathway is blocked at this point and number three there is low renin activity in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency whereas in 21 hydroxylase deficiency there is decreased aldosterone production and hyponatremia and hyperkalemia hypertension and hypokalemia 
anemia in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency now the diagnosis of 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency number one there is decreased blood level of cortisol and increased blood level of deoxycortisol and increased urinary 11 deoxycortisol see when this enzyme is deficient here decreased cortisol production increased 11 deoxycortisol in the blood and increased urinary excretion of 11 deoxycortisol metabolite number four there is increased hydroxyprogesterone and 11 deoxycorticosterone like here this is deficient there is increase in 11 deoxycorticosterone and 11 deoxycortisol both these substrates are increased in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency now 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency in 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency pregnenolone is not converted to progesterone so the synthesis of both cortisol and aldosterone is impaired and shunting occurs to adrenal androgen pathway via 17 alpha hydroxypregnenolone and dha let's see here when this is deficient 3 beta hydroxylase dehydrogenase enzyme it is involved in the synthesis of both aldosterone and cortisol so both of them are deficient when 3 beta hydroxylase dehydrogenase is deficient and pregnenolone is not converted to progesterone so shunting occurred to androgenic pathway androgens are increased dhea and the other androgens and this enzyme 3 beta hydroxylase dehydrogenase is also required for the production of gonadal hormones so a deficiency in male fetus causes incomplete realization or feminization and in female it causes increased dha production that causes virilization lab features and the diagnosis of the 3 beta hydroxylase dehydrogenase is deficiency there is marked salt wasting basically the findings are in the urine number one there is very high urinary dhea and low pregnant trial level number two there is low urinary cortisol metabolites in the children and that is characteristic of three beta hydroxylase deficiency so if this is deficient then there is very high dhea and low cortisol glucocorticoid so there will be in high urinary dhea and decrease cortisol metabolites and that is characteristic of 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency treatment for this is glucocorticoids why they decrease the ACTH production that decreases the adrenal gland hyperplasia and hypertrophy so what's the difference between 3 beta hydroxylase and 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency in 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency there is hypotension and in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency there is hypertension due to increased mineralocorticoid in 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency production is both mineralocorticoid and the cortisol production is impaired but in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency See here there is production of deoxycorticosterone that is a potent mineral corticoid and that causes hypertension so in 3 beta hydroxylase dehydrogenase deficiency there is hypotension and 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency there is hypertension and number two three beta hydroxylase is required for the gonadal hormone synthesis so a deficiency in male fetus causes incomplete virilization or feminization and in female dha produces virilization as i already mentioned answers to the question question number one what's the difference between 11 beta and 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency i already mentioned just briefly here 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency causes hypotension and 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency causes hypertension due to increased production of 11 deoxycorticosterone which is a potent mineral corticoid number two what are the amniotic fluid findings in adrenogenital syndrome there is increase 17 hydroxyprogesterone in the amniotic fluid and it is done in 16th week of gestation number three which enzyme deficiencies cause low blood pressure and which cause high blood pressure the low blood pressure caused by 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency and 21 hydroxylase deficiency and high blood pressure is caused by 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency because of the production of increased deoxycorticosterone see here 3 beta hydroxylase causes decreased production of aldosterone and cortisol causing hypotension 
and 11 beta hydroxylase causes increased production of deoxycortisone so it causes hypertension number 4 which glucocorticoids increase in 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency and why when there is a deficiency of 11 beta hydroxylase there is a deficiency of cortisol and there is increased production of 11 deoxycortisone because the pathway is blocked here so the substrate 11 deoxycortisol is increased which enzyme deficiency causes feminization in male children number 1 3 beta hydroxylase deficiency causes feminization because it is also required for gonadal hormone synthesis and number 2 17 hydroxylase deficiency it also causes feminization because this is also required for both adrenal and gonadal steroid synthesis number 6 how much more mineralocorticoid activity do mineralocorticoid have compared to cortisol if the potency of cortisol is 1 then corticosterone has 15 times more mineralocorticoid activity than cortisol deoxycorticosterone has 100 times more than cortisol and aldosterone has 3000 times more activity than cortisol now what's the difference between 11 beta hydroxy and 21 hydroxylase deficiency we have already done before so i skip this answer the 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency causes increase in 11 deoxycortisone so hypertension and in 21 hydroxylase deficiency there is hypotension what's the origin of circulating estrogen adrenal androestin dione it arises from adrenal cortex not gonadal in origin number 9 which adrenal steroid is not in free form most of the steroids are in free form DHEA is conjugated with sulfates. Number 10, which enzyme deficiency causes virilization? 3 beta hydroxy, 11 beta hydroxy and 21 beta hydroxylase deficiency cause virilization. Which adrenal enzyme deficiency does not cause virilization? 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency does not cause virilization if 17 alpha hydroxylase is deficient then there is decreased production of DHEA and other androgens so no virilization what's the effect of metaraphone on adrenal glands metaraphone inhibits the 11 beta hydroxylase and it is used to check pituitary reserves to check for ACTH production